face. <laughs> he he looked at her as he rubbed her thigh and said, "Hey, there's plenty of lube. What do you want to do?" <laughs> and I killed him. <laughs> and she cut his head off. So, all right, we're down to one goblin who is visibly shaken, and he turns and runs for it. Well, Anybody like to take a swipe before he gets away? I'll let anyone who wants to do it do it. I will. I will. I'll go all right. Anyone or everyone? <laughs> hey, if you all want to move after him, let's do it, guys. I have no problem with that. Woo! Whoa! Oh, oh the nice. gnome. What do you do, Rickros? I hit him with my staff. My half quarter oh. staff. Oh! All Bam! Right. All right, Dayer. Glasses. Give me a um. Give me a, a another check. I need to. I need you to confirm that as a critical hit. You have threatened. Give me another roll. Another d twenty. Yes, another d twenty. No if, modifiers. No, uh, no. If you know plus one, that's normal. It'd be a normal attack roll. And if this one hits, you get to do. Uh, I think double damage with that weapon. Uh, let me see. No, triple damage. Wait, what's the plus one for? Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. I looked at the wrong guy. Eh. I looked at Rick Rose's plus one. So, yeah, you just roll me a d20. Oh, no, you're, it was not a critical. No, not a critical. well. But you still hit wah, him. Wah, so, wah. so uh, Rick Rose and Grillet, please, both of you, roll damage for me. I already have. Oh, I see it. Yep, I see it. Five. All right. All right. You guys come together. Um, oh, gross. Air slams his <laughs> spear through the back <laughs> of the goblin. And Rick Rose caves the side of his head in with his staff. Nice, nice. And Deir spends the next five minutes trying to kick dead goblin off of his spear point. <laughs> All right. Now, during this time period, you guys have noticed that the storm has ceased. The sun is shining, and the cave smells of french fries and goblin blood. <laughs> and hmm. smoke. Well, they, so, the, the grease will dissipate, I believe. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to have fun with it. You put grease right. on the ground. It's funny. Come on. What are you, Killjoy? Sorry. Oh. So, my first and most immediate thing is there's still one goblin out there. Probably, yeah... Probably changing his pants. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah, he had to swing by uh, his lemonade. Yeah, he, had to, he, he had to find a uh, find a new set of huggies. So can we uh, go try to track him real quick and make sure that we don't otherwise get ambushed by another six goblins when he goes and tells his people or stupidly comes back in? Ah, oh, by all means. Okay, Have I will. Anyone in the group that can track? Uh, actually, which is track? Uh, track is a feat oh. or a class that ability means. if you're a ranger. No, I didn't think so. Dorella, do you have track by any chance? Mm, I don't think I. Do. I don't think you take it. No. No. All right, so we have no track. Mm -hmm. So um, we can still go off of your guys' survival skills. And do your best. Um, just if, you know, with the rain and everything, it's going to be highly unlikely that you're going to be able to find his footprints. Well, at this point, I think if uh, we're not going to be able to find him, I say we post. Uh, make sure to post a guard out at the entrance of the cave or something like that if we're staying for the night. All right. What, what, what time of day is it? Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, it was it's, my next question. It's, it's mid afternoon right now. Um, you guys we can't. Should, we should go ahead and move on. Yeah, you guys camped about mid morning, had lunch there in the cave, and then you know we're waiting out the storm when these guys attack. This battle only lasted about five minutes or so. And the storm's now over. Yep, the storm is now over and passed. No, then yeah, we, we can move on. Why don't we just move GTFO? on? Just we move on. All right, what are we doing with the corpses? Well, my well, raven's pecking at him. I mean, uh, let's, I, let's start looking through them. Why don't we... Right. After we look through them, why don't we just put them in the grease and uh, start a fire? And uh -huh. 
Oh, well, you already so have nice. a fire there in the cave. You could just uh, move some of its timbers over to the grease after you're done. All right. As we ransack through the goblin bodies, there is one person looking, or are we? Is everybody just kind of picking their own goblin and searching? I guess we'll all pick one. Oh, yeah. I've got me, and then my ravens kind of foraging for food on the corpses. <laughs> eyeballs. Pecking at loose eyeballs. <laughs> you would. It's like, why couldn't you have done that sooner? <laughs> 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 yeah, where was he this whole time, Derek? <laughs> yeah, exactly. He was yelling curse words in Draconic and stuff. Oh, great. That was a big Hold on one second. Kill, Kill them all. Kill them all. <laughs> Anything in a search? Should we roll for it? Might as well take ten. Sorry about that interruption. My four-year-old was asking me what my French curves were for in my art box here, so um, I had to get her set up so she's going to take them downstairs and do me some drawings. Um, all right, uh, search checks. No, we do not need search checks for searching dead bodies. Um, that's pretty straightforward. You just rummage through any pouches and pat them down as though they are a, a naughty concert goer caught by the cop. <laughs> um, all right, uh, Norian, one mm -hmm. through five. Pick a number. Uh, four. All right, Rickros. One through five. Do not pick four. Two. Dared. One through five. Do not pick two or four. Five. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. The magic number was nine. You all stop. <laughs> um, <laughs> so close. So close. Uh <laughs> Oh no. One. All right. Hey, on shouldn't it be one? One, one, right here, one. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe, unless I'm sadly mistaken, that will leave our remaining party number with three. <clears throat> All right. We'll start with number one. Odo, rummaging through the pockets and pouches of your dead, bleeding, gushy goblin, you find two copper pieces and one silver piece. Number two, Rickros, as you dig through the pockets and pouches of your little friend, you find a silver jewel encrusted dagger. And six copper pieces. Um, number three. Uh, Darella, your guy is carrying four silver pieces and one pearl worth 50 gold. Number four. Norian. Your guy has two gold pieces on him and a silver piece. Yeah. And plenty of rabbit testicles if you're hungry. Mm. Um, <laughs> the uh, end to the raven. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dayerd, your guy is carrying 17 copper pieces. 17 copper? That's it? That's it. I got lucky, I guess. What did I get? What did you get? You got two copper pieces and a silver piece? Jeez. That means I got more. I got more. Yes, technically you did. Somebody can do math. Yay! <laughs> math. All right. <laughs> That's something I have to do every day. 
I am sorry. Can you come do my math homework for me? Yay. No, I study computer science, so you know, math is kind of my thing. Yeah. That's why like they're magic. That's why they're teaching me math. They have to start teaching me vector math and stuff like that for game layout and crap. And I don't want to learn it because I don't need it. That's what 3ds Max does for me. I don't need to learn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not building tools. Oh, for someone it. has to program all that stuff. Exactly. That's what they hire people like you for. Yep. <laughs> that's, that's why I pay Autodesk five thousand dollars for the dang on program, so they can pay you to write it, not so that I can learn it. Um, <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, are we going to take off now that the sun is shining? Maybe go check and see if Recros has anything left on his cart. Spend uh, all his money we found. Uh, it's not yes. my cart, but yeah. <laughs> So, all righty. That's right, because you just had a donkey. I keep thinking you have a cart. I was thinking so, about it. But... Dorian's cart. Yeah, that's why, I think that's why, because originally you talked about possibly having a cart that you dragged around yeah. with all your kind of do like a uh, traveling hack job salesman <laughs> selling fish oils and stuff. Yeah. Um, all right, so what are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? We've killed some goblins. I'm assuming we're leaving the cave behind. Yeah. Norian's suggestion was to throw them all in the grease and light it on fire. And I'm not uh, sure anybody wants to stand around for that wonderful fumigation. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to move. Yeah, let's just uh, throw them in the bush and whatever, yeah. Why don't we just put them in the fire, or put them in the grease, and I will light it as I leave, or last person to leave, and I'll light it. There you go. <laughs> and walk away in slow motion as you... Uh, exactly. <laughs> as it just goes... <laughs> whatever you do, don't turn around and watch. Yeah, cool don't turn and watch. It'll turn into a pillar of salt. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that's Solomon Gomor. My bad. Yeah. Wrong game. All righty. So where are we headed, ladies and gentlemen? Are we going to go head on down towards town, or yeah, we've we got gotta... a fork up here. Do you want to change direction? Let's say we head towards the town. Why All righty. Back on our original path, I guess. Uh, Rickros, what do you do with your dagger? Your nice, shiny, pretty dagger. Uh, I'm going to hang on to it, and uh, when I yep. have some time, my next day I'll prepare an identify spell to cast on it. Okay. Uh, what do you do with it now? Do you just kind of... Just tuck it in your belt, throw it in your backpack, stick it in your boot. I'll throw my backpack. Throw it in your backpack? Alrighty. Well, travel is pretty uneventful. Uh, from this point forward, you cross a couple other travelers as you across, uh, approach the city of Mentar. Um, we cross over the bridge of the river Menta, uh, which pours in to the coves around the city of Mentar and the Lake of Steam. And as you approach the gates, you uh, are forced to step into a line, which is not very long, as you work your way through the guards into this small town. Um, as you reach the guards, the guards look at the group of you and noticing the weaponry, looks towards the Rella first and asks, what is your business in Mentar? Uh -oh, sir. Uh oh. Just traveling there through. There she is. All right. Well, we require all weapons to be peace tied. And he hands you a red ribbon for your long sword that he can see so clearly, and another red ribbon for your short sword, and asks if you, if you have any other weapons to declare. No. And if you would please <laughs> tie those weapons, I would appreciate it. Well, she'll tie them down. All right. Welcome to Mentar. Enjoy your stay. Um, looks at Norian. What is your business in Mentar? Oh, we're just passing through as a group. Hoping Very well. And Mentar require all weapons to be peace tied. Would you please tie this around your mace? Uh, sure. I will put a bow around my mace. <laughs> all right. And you better double tag that mace. You don't know where it's been. <laughs> <laughs> That's disturbing. That's he looks down at Rick Rose's tiny stature. What is your business and mentor? Uh, trade and passing through, and uh, I don't know, keep him just. Do you have any wares through. that you would like to declare before entering town? Um, for I, I guess so. Yeah, I mean, um. <laughs> 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 sure. <laughs> and I, uh, I I open up the the bag with my various uh, alcohol things and like yeah uh, acid flax and, and 
mm. alchemist fire and tinder twigs and smoke sticks and whatnot. He looks you through all save. of them, checking them out. And, it's, you not know. Very, it's not very much at all. No, it's not like you have a whole Walmart shelf stashed for him. Not yet. But um, he looks through me. He, he, uh, as he's holding one of the acid flasks, he looks at you and goes, you please do me a favor and protect this stuff carefully? Sure. Thank you. He hands it back to you. Uh, you have any weapons you need peace tied, sir? Um, yeah, and I, I, I uh, point to my crossbow and my dagger and it's my walking it's stick. Okay, walking stick is not an issue, sir. The dagger is. If you tie this red ribbon around, I'd appreciate it. And please uh, take the string off of your crossbow. Dunk. All Dunk. right. Beautiful. Uh, he looks over at Odo. Excuse me, little one. What is your business here in Mentar? I'm with these guys. <laughs> um, seeing as you approached in a group, I kind of figured as much. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you asking? Because I want to know what your business is. Not what you, I didn't ask why you're with the group, sir. Uh, my my business is uh, my business. Uh, and my town, he's just traveling your business through. is my business as well. If you wish to enter, you what, better what fly straight and answer my question. I'm here. What? I'm here for entertainment. There you go. See, that was not so hard. Now was it? And he hands you a red ribbon. He says, if you would tie us around your short sword, I'd appreciate it. And if you would take the string off that bow across your back, I'd appreciate that as well. Do you have any other weapons to declare? No. Very well. <laughs> All right. He turns, looks at Deir, looks at the raven, and you see his eyes tighten a little bit. What is your business in Mintar? Uh, I'm here to travel through and maybe make some purchases. Do you have any weapons to declare? Uh, the spear, maybe the quarterstaff. He gives you a gives you a red ribbon and tie around your spear. All right, I'll do that. And he leans forward. He leans forward and I'm what? Like, oh, like, sorry about that. And falls over. Yeah, she <laughs> leans forward and falls over and says, Man, yeah. you guys stink! <laughs> <laughs> but I have soap. <laughs> yes, but you did not state to me that you bathed any time recently. Nope. You're right. <laughs> he leans forward to this tall guy. Yes, and he says, You appear to be Thayan. I would suggest that you keep any wizardry activities to a minimum. All right. And he leans no back. Problem. Welcome to Mentar. Please enjoy your stay. Mind your manners. Start no trouble. Thank I have you, no Mr. issues throwing you in all in jail. Have a good day. Yeah. And he swings open the gates. Uh, as we walk past, I very loudly say, Hey, Rick Rose, did you tell him about your jeweled dagger? Oh! <laughs> the guard turns around and says, Excuse me? <laughs> oh, sir, he's just joking. Uh, I need you to step back out here, sir, while we go through your thing. I would like to, I would like to um, enforce that with a bluff. Yes, you Ooh. can. Because I have that. Yes, you do. Because <laughs> I have that. Oh, damn, I should have done that. Cool, 21, <laughs> 22. Oh, let me see. Nice. What... Hopefully his sense motive sucks. <laughs> no, his sense motive is a 4, and I rolled a 19. Ah. Uh, it just yes. barely beat you. Barely. It's really close. I didn't expect I didn't expect your bluff to be that high either. Holy crap, dude! That's that's crazy for a mage. My goodness. Yeah, it's plus nine. I noticed. That's my wow. that's that's my nine. uh part of that's my snake. Who you guys have not met. Oh yet. yeah, yeah. All I'm, right, uh, a snake. That's right. Who is coiled up in my in my jacket? Yes. All righty. Right. So, so you, uh, <laughs> if you put that uh, 
jeweled dagger in your prison wallet, buddy. It's like he puts a rough hand on your shoulder and says this way, and leads you off to the side. Oh, where glare! Are two guards, uh, there are somebody two guards me. standing there, holding their long swords at ready, and he holds his hand out and says, "Either give me the dagger that was spoken of, or hand me your bag." Oh, I sigh. Like, all right, let me see if I can find it. I'm kind of grumble and I'll look through there and like, um, uh, oh, there, here it is. And you hand uh, the dagger out. Sure. Well, all I hand right. him the yeah. All right, the party. Do you guys stick around to wait and see what happens to Rick Gross? You guys yep. go ahead, go and I head. Do. Don't, I'm waiting. I want to see where he puts that dagger. <laughs> 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 oh, why does that not surprise me? <laughs> he pulls a snake out of his pants and it's like, oh, I've got this as well. No, I want to see where the guard puts the dagger that he's oh, in. Oh, okay. Dorian, okay. what are you doing? Um, I'll actually walk over and kind of try to explain the situation, like pull the guy to the side or whatever and just be like, you know, and we, he just got it and it's more ornamental than anything. That's probably why he didn't, but uh, I thought it'd be in the best interest to kind of, you know, Make it known. Hugh's best interest. You're the grumble. grumble. <laughs> yeah. Like I would just, yeah. In the I best interest of uh, of well, all the people that are watching. <laughs> you're saying these things as Rick Rose is pulling it out, and he's kind of looking at you, listening with his hand out. As Rick Rose places it in his hand, he looks down at it, and his hand tightens around it very tight to the point that his knuckles become white, and he's staring at you, Rick Rose. And there's fire burning in his eyes. And he steps past you, leans over to one of the other guards, whispers something. The guard sheaths his sword and takes off in a dead run. Uh oh. And he looks at the party, says, If all of you will please step over here. And he points further into the alcove that, you, that he is currently searching Rickos in. Norian, what did you do? <laughs> Norian's like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Oh God, I could have sold this, you know. I could have just sold this thing, and we all would have had some money. And uh, can I ask? Uh, I'm gonna ask him what is going on, you know. And actually, can I like uh, use sense motive with that when he replies? Uh, most certainly. He looks at you and says, "You will find out shortly." <laughs> and over Sir, there. but we are just we are just simple travelers, and you know we came across Stand this over thing. There. We don't want to. Stand over there. Okay, I am going to do something risky. Oh uh, man! I think I, I would like. To, I think I would like to uh, dodge. use escape artist. Oh god! Okay, well, escape artist is only going to work if you're tied up. Oh damn! Okay. Yeah. How about yeah, hide? Same thing. What about hide? You don't have hide in plain sight. You're being watched. Oh okay. You guys are. Okay, well then I'm just going to stand awesome. here. <laughs> okay. Darella, what are you doing? You follow I've orders. Over. I've moved where over to where he indicated, and I'm just waiting All at this right. point. It's usually oh. me causing problems here, you know. <laughs> uh, no. Norian this time. Mm-hmm. You greasy bastard. All right. A few minutes later, <laughs> uh, the guard returns, and he's got a nearly seven foot tall half orc in tow, who's wearing a blacksmith's apron all pretty dirty and sooty. His arms are virtually stained black by the ash and soot from his daily job. And he comes in looking extremely upset. The captain of the guard turns to him, steps forward, whispers something to him, shows him the dagger. He says something back to the guard. The guard points directly at Rickrose. The Half Orc takes three quick strides, reaches down with one hand, grabs Rick Ross by his collar, and lifts him up to the ground. Off the ground, says, "You have three seconds, little one, to tell me why you have my daughter's dagger before I crush your face." Oh! Huh. Dorella will speak up at that point and go, "We took it off a goblin, actually a pack of goblins that likely story coming from a woman." <laughs> I asked you, little one. I, I yes, it's uh, it was goblins. We killed them, and I declare I declare the 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 the, the sacred right of finders keepers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Only a gnome would say something like that while in the clutches of a half orc. <laughs> and I I am totally bluffing as well. Please roll. 
Oh, God. oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that'll work. That's not a bad roll. Mm. Not a bad roll at all. Technically, he could roll a one and still make it ten. <laughs> yeah, virtually. I mean, yeah, he's uh, he's in. If, if a one were to not a fail, that would be uh... mischievous little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. Oh man! All right, uh, Rick Rose. Um, if you, <laughs> if you could, um, mm -hmm. please give me uh, a level check. Uh, one d twenty. Uh, plus 